Cineplex says close to 345,000 advance tickets have been purchased for two of the biggest Hollywood movie releases of the year. Hey Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Ugh. Hi Ken! Hi Ken. <laughs> Cineplex says more than 60,000 advance tickets were purchased by moviegoers seeing both Barbie and Oppenheimer. And 65% of those ticket buyers will watch both films on the same day. The excitement over the double feature has been dubbed Barb Barbenheimer. <laughs> and both movies and their box office showdown have been trending online for months now. The likely winner of the showdown, however, is Barbie, as it appeals to a wider and younger audience. And for more on Barbie mania that's sweeping the world, including right here at home, we're joined now by Trending Now podcast producer and host Louis Bucko, who's live at Cineplex. Louis, I understand the moviegoers from the first showing there have left the theaters now. So what are they saying? Yeah, Kelly, the second showing just went in, but those lucky few who got to be one of the uh, first to uh, to see the new Barbie movie, they say just like the iconic toy released in 1959, it's a classic. The movie, directed and co-written by Academy Award winning director and screenwriter Greta Gerwig, has scored an impressive 89% on the movie review website Rotten Tomatoes, with most critics agreeing the movie is a must watch. The site compiles critics' reviews from across the web to create a score based on favorable reviews. In addition, the movie has received an audience score of 94%, with fans and critics alike praising the production values, visuals, and performances from their lead actors, including including Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling. However, despite the early praise, the flick is also drawing some criticism, particularly from right-wing politicians and Fox News hosts who say it promotes toxic femininity while marginalizing men. While everything may seem pink and perfect on the surface, the film is getting slammed for empowering women while emasculating men. I think that probably like, the movie director and producer are, are drumming this up going, let's tell everybody it's anti-men. Right. And then everybody yeah. in media will talk about it, and then everybody will want to go see it. Well, it worked. You're, you're probably right, uh, Douglas. <laughs> you are the resident male. How does it be? How does it feel to be portrayed as an idiot, a bigot, or a sad, rather pathetic loser? I feel kind of marginalized. Meanwhile, Republican Congressman Matt Gates and his wife getting slammed after walking the pink carpet for a screening at the Aspen Security Conference before calling out the movie. Ginger Gates took to Instagram to call for a boycott citing its lack of faith and family, and specifically calling out Ryan Gosling's Ken character for what she calls his low testosterone energy.